Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another live stream here at Universal Studios Hollywood, actually. We're not at Disneyland on this live. Been wanting to do a live stream here for a while now, and it seems like every time I come, it doesn't happen. So this time around, we're doing it, guys. Make sure to watch this stream in 1080p resolution. Of course, make sure to hit the like button on this live. And uh, yeah, we're starting off here in the city walk area, as you guys can see. And uh, it's looking pretty nice. We're gonna go uh, about to head inside here to the front entrance, which you guys will see in just a little bit. But let me show you down this way. Kind of skipped a lot of the uh, city walk because we uh, parked in a different area today. All right, let me go ahead and continue walking through here. And uh, of course, Johara, this is a 100% live Disney fan. Lunis, welcome in here to this live stream at Universal Studios Hollywood, as I just mentioned. So, hope you guys are in, uh, are gonna enjoy this stream. A little bit different, and you know, it's cool to see other theme parks here every now and then. So, I'm happy to be streaming at this one. I like this place a lot, actually. I really like Universal Studios. Growing up, <clears throat> my 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 dad really likes this place. He actually just came like a couple of days ago because we had some family visiting from uh, out of town and he actually just came and showed them around. So he was actually here a couple days ago and uh, he's like, you should go and do and, uh, and do a stream over there, Steve. And I was like, you know, I really should. I really, really should. So today is the day and we're gonna make it happen. Friday, <clears throat> today's Friday and uh, a really nice Friday actually because the weather's nice, the sun, is shining and the weather feels good. So it's a good day to be here in Hollywood. A little bit of wind going on, but nothing too, nothing too bad. Welcome in guys, welcome in. Usually I always kind of start the stream once I get past the security, but security here is usually pretty chill, but we're still gonna have to cut the stream here at some point because once we get close, they have these metal detectors that you have to walk by and Put your, it's kind of like an airport situation here. All right. What's up, Ricardo, Melinda, uh, Emily Shaw, Eduardo? Good to see you guys. So you can see some of the shops here in the uh, City Walk area. This store right here actually has a lot of really cool merch. If you guys are looking for Universal Studios merchandise. This store right here has a has a lot of things. Maybe we'll do some skipper buys here later on if we have some time. A lot of 60th anniversary for the studio tour. That's actually going to be the first thing that I take you guys on because I was looking at some of the wait times and it has a very very short wait. So we'll go over and enjoy that here. First thing on our list. There is a water road show that I want to show you guys at 4 p.m. Also, the thumbnail here for this stream is kind of eh. I don't have any other thumbnails because I don't really come here too often. So I'm gonna try to take some cool thumbnails here as the, to as the stream Studios goes on. Hopefully I find something to cool to change park. this thumbnail. Oh, what do you guys think about the thumbnail? The kinda, the bins on the moving belt, I, don't know, I got it from Google somewhere, so. But we'll use it for now, obviously. I can always change don't it a little bit later on. Don't forget to collect your items once you've passed through the metal detector and enjoy your visit. Four minutes, just depending how fast this goes. Here's the security. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Be right back.
All right, guys, I hope you can see everything now. You should be able to see everything. Got through the uh, security check here. And as per usual, my mess up for the day is I forgot my pass. So somebody's gonna go to the car and get it for me right now, guys. Now I just have to bore you guys to death here with this view because we have to wait here now until they go all the way back to the car and then come all the way back over here and then go through security again so we're gonna be just kind of looking at these banners here for a little bit it's gonna get a little boring guys but i have to i can't get in without that pass and i left it in the car inside my wallet and uh yeah typical steve so we're gonna just look at some of these here as we go by you can see 60th year anniversary here take a look at some of these vintage photos of the studio tour let's see they got a couple more here let's see what else they have there's a bridge right here TSN welcome in I know it sucks but we'll be in here soon we'll be in here soon and then they have this big right here at the entrance this is the entrance of this place no line to get in seems pretty chill seems kind of empty in here doesn't really seem like there's a lot of people to be honest let's take a look here yeah it doesn't seem like it's busy i think we're gonna have a pretty empty uh a pretty empty Universal Studios. I was looking at some of the wait times and it seems like that, you know, there's not really much big waits. I think the studio, started, studio tour said it was five minutes to get on. So I think that we should be able to do some really cool rides here. As many as uh, we can. I've live streamed before, I've live streamed before here a couple times and there's some rides that you can't stream because of like copyright reasons and they don't let you film on some like i know for sure the minions you cannot go on there with any type of recording the simpsons also is another one that kind of has uh those same rules and stuff like that and then which other one the secret life of pets is good that one you can record on So yeah, just continue waiting here a little bit, guys. I will get that pass. Welcome in, Tinkerbell. Thank you for joining. I think I've live streamed Transformers, and that one is pretty good on the live, too. What's up, Leslie? Welcome in. I can hear the Water World show going on. Oh, you know what? I am going to take this time here to make sure this stream is working properly. So. Good afternoon and welcome to Universal Studios. Guys, the entertainment capital of LA. For those that are just joining us today, head on down to the arches on the right-hand side of the Red Carpet. Our theme park will be open until 7 p.m. tonight, but the world-famous studios will run until 5.15. So yeah guys make sure to hit the like button on this live i know we're not at disneyland our usual our usual place but for any of you guys that got a, getting a little bored at disneyland maybe this might uh this might give you guys a little something different to watch here right. just making sure this stream is looking good and then we will be on our way here soon.
tickets or want to upgrade to an Express Pass, you can do that right now at the ticket booths on the right hand side of the red carpet. All right, guys, cool. Stream's looking good. We got good signal. 1080p should look really nice. And uh, yeah, we're still uh, here just waiting. Almost there, guys, almost there. Almost there. Appreciate you guys being patient and waiting here. <laughs> Let's see, what's up, Amy? Good to see you here on the live. What's up, Victor? Thank you so much for watching this live stream. Nice to see you at Universal. I wish it wasn't so far from Disney. Yeah, I drove from Orange County all the way over here. And uh, yeah, definitely a drive. And then sometimes when there's traffic, oh my goodness, it is just horrible. But um, it wasn't so bad today. It wasn't so bad today. I hope on the way back home it isn't bad. What's up, Amy? I am doing good. Hope you are doing well and having a good day. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Steve, who is your favorite character from the Fast and Furious? My favorite character? I, I don't know. That's, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite one. TSN says, do they still have the Strum 2 to drive? Oh, yeah, definitely. They definitely do. Here you can see right at the entrance. Big pictures here, studio tour anniversary. They're actually having an anniversary for this particular attraction. So 60th anniversary. What's up, Amy? Yeah, definitely a really nice day here. You can see, take a look around. It looks really nice. So it's looking really, really good. Really, really nice day. It's not cold. It's not too hot. A little bit windy, but nice day good good day that's right if you download our official universal studios auto app you'll get the latest information such as show times wait times attraction information and much more So yeah, guys, once we get inside the park, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go onto the studio tour. That's gonna be the first thing that we're gonna do. And then Waterworld studio tour, those are the two things that are my biggest priorities to show you guys here on this live stream. So as soon as we get in here, we're gonna go over and do those two things. There's a Waterworld show at four, and then the studio tour saying that it's a five minute wait to get onto this ride. So that's gonna be the first thing we do. And then anything after that is extra credit. Hopefully we could do some other things. <laughs> so, um, but yeah guys, welcome in here, welcome in, welcome in. For any of you guys wondering like, why is this dude just standing here at the entrance? Why isn't he going inside? It's because I forgot my little barcode pass thing in my car. So I had some, I have somebody going and grabbing it right now and they are on the way back. They just texted me that they are almost here. And I also forgot my ID. I don't need my ID, but in order to get a replacement, I think you need your ID or something. Anyways, the point is they're almost here, guys. You guys just keep chilling here in the chat. I appreciate you guys waiting. They're almost here, almost here. Minutes away, minutes away. So yeah, studio tour coming up. Studio tour coming up. And I don't want to restart the live because we started off really cool with that escalator. And 
my intro was good, so I do not want to restart this thing. For any of you guys watching the replay, absolutely skip this part. Skip, skip this whole thing here and just go to the part where I get on the studio tour and then continue watching from there once I get inside the park. I guess that's one cool thing about watching uh, live streams and replays. You can skip all the boring parts, you know? But when we're live, we're live. Can't, uh, can't do anything about it. All right, cool. Awesome, Coney. I hope you guys are in no hurry. Appreciate you guys joining in here on this stream if you have me in the background. Nice. And it looks like my pass has arrived. So let's go ahead and get in here, guys. And I just drove all the way from OC over here. So you guys are going to have to wait a little bit because I got to go to the restroom. I think right here. Right index finger on the blue light and hold it. Okay. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. You see, Chris, that's what I need to do. Get up to date here on this app. And I'm going to look into that a little bit later on tonight. Because this is what I forgot in the car, guys. This right here. This is what I forgot. Any... Anyways, we're inside now, guys, so let's go ahead and get this stream started, finally. Let's get this stream started, guys. This stream has officially started now. So, welcome into the live, everybody. We're here, Universal Studios Hollywood. Beautiful Friday. It seems like the crowds are nice and chill. This is kind of like walking down Main Street over at Disneyland. <laughs> but, you know, a lot less crowded, obviously, as you guys can see. Restaurants here to the right side, merch shops here on the left side. Let me show you guys the left side here. They have this studio tour, anniversary photo you can take there. There's more merch. Universal Studios store is over here. Later on today, when we head over to uh, the Water Road show, we're gonna be able to watch it over here. You can see Water World over there, Maryland Monroe. And let me show you later on, that's gonna be at four, by the way, Water World show. Last show of it. Take a look at some of the wait times. Studio tour, it says no wait, guys. So we're gonna be able to walk straight into that thing. The lower lot has some of the higher wait times, like 45, 25, 20, and 25. And uh, there's a look, hopefully you guys can see right there. Okay. Where is there a restroom over here? go down there to the studio tour or I need to do something real fast and then we'll go down there guys Alright guys, you guys hang out here for a little bit. I will be right back.
guys. Let's go now, for real. This time, for real, let's go. Sorry about all these delays and stops, but I promise you, this time we're for real. We're for real heading down here. We're gonna actually do some entertaining stuff here on this live, so. Let me take you down to the studio tour. We're gonna start with that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get going here with some other rides. Hopefully, maybe we can head down to that lower lot area and see what's going on. I appreciate you guys joining here on this live. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys are enjoying so far. And uh, let's go. I'll continue showing you guys around. This is something that I haven't seen before. This looks to be a uh, something brand new what is this power up cafe have you guys seen this before i haven't let's see what they sell here they have drinks and you can mobile order these Looks like they also have snacks. So that's something I haven't seen before here at Universal Studios. Maybe they just opened it up. All right, guys, let's continue walking through here. Whoa, there's a lot of chairs over here. I wonder what's going on in this area. I have to show you guys this. There's a lot of chairs. Right here is the Kung Fu Panda show. It's like a, it's like a theater show, and like the chairs move and stuff like that. Good to see you. Where are you from? Over here, there's a. Holy moly! It seems like Shrek fell. <laughs> there's Yona and Shrek. Shrek's huge. It's a bossy. Cheers! Now we have to go to the same now. We got ham in that tempo too. That's good. Love a good ham tempo. You know what I'm saying? Put some bacon on the side. What's up, gentlemen? What's up? How we doing? You good? Damn, you guys are tall. This is crazy. Look at that. That's fine. Alright, we're walking down here to this area now where. They're doing some construction for a new ride that's coming here to Universal Studios Hollywood, the Fast and Furious roller coaster. This is where the crowds are at over here. You can see right here, fast and furious. New ride, they're saying get ready. All right, let's continue walking through here, guys.
This is where they sell those donuts. Those huge donuts. Lord bless. Thank you, Eduardo, for the information. So for any of you guys wondering, that Power uh, Up Cafe, it opened up, the one that I showed you earlier, it opened up about a month ago. And then all those chairs that I showed you too, it's for some type of ceremony. Let's go down here and get on this thing. Now it says 10 minutes. This also looks new. The artwork right here. This also looks new. Here we go, guys. Let's see how long this takes. It says 10 minutes, but I think it might be a little bit less. Hopefully. Looks like it might. Enter here. Right here. one of these cool red and white cars. I'm gonna take you guys on one of those. Good job.
cool. We can pick our own seat here. We're gonna go all the way to the back. We need one of these, one of these cool red cars. Hopefully, we get one of these cool red ones. Tramtastic day. Have a tramtastic day. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Look how cool this one looks. getting this one all right we're gonna have to come back and get this red car eventually guys we'll make it a goal of ours we'll make it a goal of ours to get the uh, the red car one day all right guys enjoy the studio tour here we go. We're going to get started right now. I will stop talking so you guys can listen to what they're saying. And make sure to watch this in 1080p. Also, guys, make sure to hit the like button on this live stream. And yeah, enjoy. We're here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I wanted to get this one, guys. I'm feeling a little bummed out, not going to lie. I really wanted to get this cool red one, but I guess we're going to have to come back and hopefully get it sometime soon. Step towards reducing our carbon footprint. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome aboard for an awesome experience that's also awesome for the environment. And we are so very proud to be part of that initiative, my friends. Hello and welcome. You made it. It's the world famous Studio Tour. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Just want to introduce myself. My friends, I'm not AI. I'm not a robot. Yeah, wait for it, right? My name is Christine, I am your tour guide for about the next 45 minutes or so as we give you a little peek behind the scenes to show you where we make some of our favorite TV shows and films. Want to make sure y'all have a pair of these fashionable green glasses, yes, good, y'all got a pair? Excellent. No need to wear them now, but you are going to need them a couple times later on in the tour. They actually make really bad sunglasses, they'll give you a headache, so go ahead and enjoy Mother Nature's 3D right now. Our amazing studio tour ambassadors will also be closing up that gate really soon. So my friends, if you have any small children whose feet do not touch the floor, do me a huge favor and move those precious packages to the middle of the road. Away from the train gates is the safest spot, because trust me when I say, it gets real bumpy here from time to time. Now I also want to introduce our driver today, he's actually facing in the right direction. It's John, our driver, make some noise! and that's okay. We're your dream team today, my friends, while we uh, get started here real quick. Now, again, move those very small children to the middle of the road for me, if you would, and it's your last chance. 
chance to raise your hand in the air if you do not have a pair of those fashionable 3D glasses. You're going to need them for King Kong 360 and Fast and Furious Supercharged. Looks like those gates are coming in too, my friends. Just watch your hands and your feet. We are going to get this party started here real quickly. Again, hello, my name is Christine. I'm your tour guide for about the next 45 minutes or so. And if you can see down there to your right, past that glamour tram, well, my friends, you're seeing those big warehouse-looking buildings. Those are our actual sound stages. They're huge, and they're about 98% soundproof. And we'll be getting a little bit close up and personal look at those as well. But hopefully y'all can join us for our 60th anniversary celebrations. Yep, that's going to be occurring starting on April 26th. But it looks like it's time, my friends. Go ahead and look to your left and wave goodbye to those folks patiently waiting for their turn on the world famous studio tour. Ah, oh, you guys are amazing. Now you know me, I'm Christine, your tour guide. John is your driver today. And our co-host, he's the host of The Tonight Show. You know it, you love it. Please help me welcome Mr. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy, you there? Oh, hi there. Good evening. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. Steve. And the greatest driver. John. They're the best. I love them. Even though it's only five bucks. Thank you. I know you guys are excited to get on the tour. But first, a few safety rules. Uh, Jimmy, I'll give you a tag. We love it that much. But he is correct. Just a couple of quick safety rules. Now, first, if you have a major medical emergency and need guest assistance, or if you drop something of great value off the side of the tram, just reach up, grab that red emergency cord that runs along the center of the ceiling of the tram. I'll be back to assist as soon as it's safe. Otherwise, please stay seated throughout the tour. Keep those arms and legs inside the tram. And the studio is private property, so if at any time during the tour, you drop your phone or you can't wait to use the restroom, pull on the cord and remain seated. Please, no smoking of any kind during the tour, but be prepared. We're going to feature some loud noises, sudden tram movements, fire effects, and a lot of water effects. You'll want to have those cameras out for great photo ops, but do keep an eye on them so they don't get wet. And finally, for your safety and everyone around you, please do not use any selfie sticks while you are on board today. And for that, we thank you so much. Now you are sitting down here to the right. We are leaving the theme park behind. Great view of the lower lot. You're also seeing
who sounds strange and sloppy. Sorry, you just never know who or what you're gonna see. Now, even though there's no actor filming going on today, they are setting up on our back lot with some productions that will be upcoming. But uh, we have had a lot of robust television production of late to include the fourth season of Honey, starring our own and the award winner, Gene Smart. Up ahead and on your left in this next set of sound stages, in fact, another season of the Lamb starring Charlie Lambs and Arlene Schoenberger. We've been filming American Auto, Tech TV series, and so much more. And you may notice those big old stage doors on our sound stages, well, man, they look like they could fit an elephant inside. And in fact, that is our nickname for those stage doors. They're called elephant doors. And back in the day, the silent era of Hollywood, we actually had an entire zoo back here on our back lot. We had to fit giraffes and elephants inside those stage doors. So we just held on to the nickname, kind of love that. But you can see these production vehicles that are loading in rigging and lighting equipment, or they might be outloaded for an old production, props and set pieces, even foliage. But check it out up ahead as we turn the corner and on your left hand side, these production vehicles act as mobile wardrobe departments, even mobile dressing rooms, makeup and hair. I understand as these vehicles are dedicated to the cast of Bel Air. Of course, that's Joey Banks and Ali Showington. So all they have to do is get ready, get their makeup and hair done, and then just walk them right on across the street to their designated sound stage. Pretty cool. Now up ahead on your left hand side, it's actually our second oldest and second largest sound stage. It's number 14, and in fact has seen blockbuster production like Jurassic Park. That's right, if you remember in the first film where the Brachiosaurus sneezes on those kids, that happened right inside sound stage 14. It also held the entire mission control operation for Ron Howard's Apollo 13, as well as the entire Antarctic outpost for the thing. Starring Kurt Russell in the 80s. They kept it to a cool 22 degrees inside there, so the actors actually saw their own breath. Now, my friends, as mentioned prior, we do television pretty darn well, too. NBC has been doing it for more than 80 years. Our first broadcast emanated from the 1939 New York World's Fair. Up on your screens, you're seeing some of our memorable and historic shows from the past, but more recent production in this next set of sound stages on your right hand side, including four solid years of never have I ever started my day while I wish that. Also, a couple of seasons of Quantum Leap with the Tear to the Right, starring Raymond Lee and Ernie Hudson, not only illumination productions, but in sound stage 18, Ray Robinson. Filming Killing It, and from the office. And up ahead to the right inside stage 15, not only sets from Oppenheimer with the just inside, but also a new series starring Ted Danson called The Classic Spy. He loves it here. He also filmed at sound stage 19, Mr. Mayor, and Four Years of the Good Place. But I mean, oh my gosh, you guys, it's our first celebrity sighting up ahead to the left. Oh, that sassy little teddy bear. Hey, Ted, what's up? Hi everyone, Seth McFarlane here, and I'm excited to share with you a behind-the-scenes look at my Peacock original event series, Ted. It's a prequel series set in 1993. That means I'm still craftsman had to build a high school, a house, and even recreate downtown Boston, which looked back in the day, using exterior sets and facades that you're about to see on the But I should warn you, Ted is intended for the show audience like you. So grow up, tell the kids to go in the other room before you watch. Check it out, it's now streaming on the Recop channel. And also check out these smaller beige bungalows here to your left that back in the golden era of Hollywood served as very luxurious dressing rooms to our big stars that you still call home in the doors day on the Hudson. Nowadays, these little bungalows, they house our high-profile production companies. Amy Pascal Productions with their Spider-Man No Way Home Productions, number Whitney the musical that he's bringing to the big screen for the two part film adaptation, starring Cynthia Reba and Ariana Grande. And my favorite bungalow just here to the left, it's number 5195. That familiar 
Spanish silhouette thinks it's the old offices of Sir Alfred Hitchcock. Of course, director of nightmare films like Psycho, The Birds, North by Northwest, Vertigo, Rear Window, he came here and moved in while making Barney. We love him so much. Some newer sound stages here, just to the left, but you can read those parking signs. You can see they're filming another season of Lopez vs. Lopez, starring a stand-up comedian, George Lopez, and his real-life daughter, Maya. You have to check that out as well. But now we're heading from our front lot, where we do all of our interior filming. We're going to get a little peek at the back lot, my friends. And now our metropolitan sets make up about four acres of our back lot. Front. That's a term we use in the business because these empty shells, well, that's all the camera needs to see. In fact, and I've seen some of these mobile trailers in support of a new mockumentary. It's called St. Dennis Medical. In fact, they've been filming here for the next couple of months, so keep an eye out for that as well. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but even that corrugated metal wall there to your left, well, that actually serves a couple of very important purposes. Now, we know that we have a lot of fun in our theme park and the joyful squeals of our guests. That can actually carry on the wind that bleed over into our filmmakers' audio. We're filming just on the other side of this wall, so that helps us noise a and it tempers all of that noise so we don't actually damage the audio. And on the other side, you'll see a painted backdrop, and it serves as background, so our filmmakers don't have to see an empty parking lot. We call that a draw floor. It literally means blue the eye. But you're going to get a close-up look here. Get a closer look at New York Street as we turn into this little alleyway here. Now, on this particular end of New York Street, we actually have a replica buildings to include the Fairmont Hotel, located originally in San Francisco. Take a peek down here. So see a copy of Macy's Herald Square. Yeah, that's their uh, flagship store. And a copy of the Knickerbocker Bank with those big pillars. The original is actually in New York City, right across from the Empire State Building. Now, this is New York Street, our longest and most popular street within our metro sense, and we are setting up for filming. But I know my co-host loves it here, too. Don't you, Jimmy? Hey, everyone. Welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighbor. Almost got mugged over there. An old woman. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hey, it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal Lot. So true, Jimmy. Not only downtown Manhattan, we even turned it into Baltimore for Hairspray Live in 2016. We turned it into Seattle, even Minneapolis, and the streets of Chicago for some scenes from Blues Brothers. Here's John Landis to show you what scene that was. When the Pinto fell, and you saw it land and make this big hole in the street, that was on the back lot. We dropped it from a crane. You dig like that in Chicago. <laughs> when people ask me all of the movies I've ever done, which is the most satisfying, the most fun, I've got to say Blues Brothers. We got to sing, we got to dance, got to drive, and we drink the best young people in the world. And, and, and they did have a good time, but I didn't want to interrupt. I just wanted to show you that scene because you couldn't get away with that in the real streets of Chicago, which is why they all come here to our back lot. But it's time for our first adventure and another one of our famous directors to tell you a little bit more about that adventure on Skull Island. Creatures from you know prehistoric times. So I was thrilled when Universal invited me back to Skull Island. 
great to have you along the line. Now we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet, just have them in your hand because we're about to return to the line. Well, thank you, Mr. Jackson, and an opportune time for me to remind you of a couple of extra safety rules whenever we are inside one of our animation buildings. Super important for you to remain seated at all times to keep those hands and feet inside the tram, please. Also, if you have not already moved very small children to the middle of the room, oh boy, strongly suggest you do it now. It gets real bumpy here on Skull Island. Yeah. Also, no flash photography, so my friends, please turn off the lights on your cameras and cell phones. No flashes allowed inside our buildings. Also, do hold on tightly to your valuables. Anything dropped off the side of the tram when we are inside one of our buildings, we are totally unable to retrieve it until the very end of the night. Uh oh, I hear those trucks are calling. It's time for our first adventure, my friends. And you can go ahead and put on those 3D glasses if you'd like. Let's let this first adventure begin. You're ready, baby. Picture card. 
Sometimes transport our actors on set and can also designate a point dead time in history without anyone ever saying a word. Merely by the make, model, and year of the vehicle, you can pretty much tell where and when you are in time. And some of our vehicles are even more famous than their co-stars. Now one thing you will not see up ahead is what you see on our screens. The DeLorean from the Back to the Future trilogy. Now they're already in museums right now. There's so few left that you can't see one in downtown LA at the Peterson Automotive Museum. So get out those fingers and cell phones. Check it out to your left and tell me how many you recognize. First is the little yellow hot rod that was raced in American Graffiti. It's parked right next to a stuck Ferrari with a Volkswagen engine from Magnum PI. We have several vehicles from our Back to the Future franchise. And yes, my friends, the Flintstones vehicles made out of foam rubber and fiberglass. Yes, indeed. Everybody heard. We have one of many flying Ford Anglias from Warner Brothers Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We have a couple of vehicles from Jurassic World, and we're very grateful for Jordan Peele loaning us the electronics van from Nope and the Crawdaddy boat from us. But my favorite is the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle made out of painted plywood to look realistically rusty. Add some PVC pipe and director of Transformers, Michael Bay. Well, he can blow that tank up as many times as he needs to. We just made it super cheap for him to rebuild it. Now, I'm trying to figure out where the heck we are. It almost looks... What do you mean? Warning? Dino... Uh-oh. Is this the shores off Costa Rica by chance? Welcome oh. to Jurassic Park. Thank you, Mr. Hammond. Really appreciate that info. And indeed, my friends, on either side of the tram, you can see some set pieces and props from the first trilogy of films, primarily Lost World. Uh, how you doing, big old Rex? Cute little guy. Now, my friends, the next picture car we have is up ahead on the right-hand side, and it's actually a boat. In fact, that too can be a picture car. Now, the boat up ahead to your right was actually seen in the scene from Lost World where the Spinosaurus was attacking those kids. Super scary. Our largest here. To the left, it's the Mobile Lab from Lost World, also made out of multi plywood and duct tape. But my favorite part are the little dinosaurs in the uh oh. How come some of them are empty? Okay, this is not good, my friends. They may have escaped. Heads up, watch out. The sneaky little guys. Always getting out of their cages. Wow, we need better locks on those cages. I'm so sorry, my friends. I'm a lot than the big girl. I'm for Those tree tops have wheels underneath. Yeah, that's so we can move them around on set much more easily. And if we're not using digital effects to make those big old crazy storms that we need for our horror films and our sci-fi flicks, well, we have to make them organically. Yeah, we don't get them too often here in Southern California. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration with Bob and the tech team just up ahead in what we fondly call Old Mexico. Yeah. We're going to show you how we create those crazy thunderstorms. Hey, Bob, good to see you guys. No, I got some special guests here. Well, just do, yeah, do me a favor. Give me some lightning and thunder when you get a chance, my friends. Okay, now you're going to want to look to the left here. And you're going to be able to see those flashes of lightning. And in fact, those are actually courtesy of high-intensity LED lights. Ah, uh, right on cue. Thank you, Bob. Now, the sound of thunder is actually being pumped out through speakers. This are placed all throughout this area. So all we need now is a little bit of the wet stuff, and that's through our most high-tech advanced equipment. We like to call that high-tech equipment. All right, that's just a lie, my friends. Yeah, this is just an overhead sprinkler, but the whole people version works beautifully as well. You might notice those raindrops are about five times larger than normal, so the camera can pick 
first of the block, Pearl. We even turned it into Pat Club of Spain with a running of the bulls and real bulls for city stickers. Starring Billy Crystal, even an old Super Bowl commercial called Running of the Bull Dogs with little puppies running all around. It was so cute. But check it out up ahead and on the right hand side, the oldest part of our own Europe. It's called the Court of Miracles in Tio Light. And this is where Mark Cheney Sr. portrayed Pazzi Moto in the silent version of Hunchback of Notre Dame. You can even see those big archways in the back of that court, which is where we saw Frankenstein's monster for the very first time on the big screen. Now, Lon Chaney Sr., of course, Lon Chaney Jr. portrayed the Wolfman in our classic monster series, but Lon Chaney Sr. did three movies for us here. First was Miracle Man, Hunchback was next, and he came back about a year and a half later to film Phantom of the Opera. Now, I'm sure you all have your many great classic monsters, and mine's probably going to be, I don't know, Brian and Frankenstein. I'd love to see some Elsa Lancaster. Now, where would any of our Frankenstein movies be without those really angry villagers? Man, I swear they were in every single movie, weren't they? Yeah, you always got that irate mayor stirring up the crowd. Of course they have the torches and their pitchforks. My friends, in the last row of the Ford car, Selfie stick away, my friends, to keep those hands and feet inside the tram at all times. One of our hard and fast safety rules. Now, also, we influenced our classic monsters anyway, several generations of young filmmakers as well. And I'm just going to let them give you their testimonials. Here's a couple of quick ones. We think of you don't think of monsters. Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, The Invisible Man, Phantom of the Opera. Classic films are just brilliantly made. That Frankenstein image, flathead, bolts, it's one of the great icons of the world. That to me was like the essence of the universal horror film. And I was just mesmerized by this movie. Morris Karloff, Lon Chaney. I remember the original Universal Studios Mummy movie really scaring me. They still ring in our memories now, and we love them. Boy, we sure do. Even our big old sharks and those crazy little dinosaurs, still part of our category and our library of classic monsters. We love them. And if y'all didn't know, Boris Karloff was not the first choice of studio executives to portray Frankenstein's monster. They actually offered it up to Bella Lugosi, who had found fame with Dracula. But he noticed in the script there wasn't a single line for the monster, so he flat out turned it down. He said any background or extra actor could do it. So guess what executives did? They went to another production on the lot, and they found the tallest, scariest-looking dude. Yeah, guess who that was? That was Boris Karloff. Now, I'll bet Bella Lugosi actually regretted that decision, although he did get to portray the monster just a few years later. But I put you guys through so much, my friends. I think it's time to actually take you on a little vacation, even though we don't have to stay seated and stay safe. Hold on to each other if you need to, because I'm taking you to a small New England town. Yeah, they got rid of their big old shark problem. Welcome, my friends, to Amity Island. Yeah. Oh, look, they caught that big old shark. He's hanging up there to the right. Looks like the police divers are doing a last minute swim in the harbor. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to turn, hey, we're going to swim to the boat, dude. We're going to 
of the original props made for the 30th anniversary of the first film. Of course, the exterior of Marty's house in those films was a real home in the nearby neighborhood. 
Now, my friends, you may have noticed that we are on Steven Spielberg Drive. All of our streets, well, most of them on the back lot, are named after icons in the business. We also honor actors like Janet Lee and Kirk Douglas, as well as John Williams, the music composer. But we like to call this Wilderness Road because if you get a nice tight camera shot, it can look like the middle of nowhere. Well, it sure did when Sandra Bullock built a makeshift campsite for scene this bird box. Yeah, right here to the left, literally 10 feet from the road. Now's the time for me to let you know that we're about 15 minutes away from the end of the tour. We'll be returning to the theme park shortly. Just remember to pull on that red cord overhead if you have an actual emergency. I'll be back to assist you, but do remain seated at all times, please. Now you may have noticed one or two of our sets are getting a little bit of a facelift. That's in anticipation of our 60th anniversary celebration starting on April 26th. You may even see here to the left that our own War of the World set. It's getting a little safety upgrade as well. And yes, that is a real Boeing 747 to your left. Steven Spielberg donated this set back in 2005, but we have another set based on an alien disaster movie donated to us just last summer from Mr. Jordan Peele's latest movie called Nope, Welcome to Jupiter's Flag, the actual set donated from the production site just north in Agua Dulce, but I'll let him tell you a little bit more. Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible notion and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Planet, a nostalgic, small-time Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky G. Park. Over there, look into the winking room and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Sheriff. That's what this whole place is losing to. Remember that one? No? You can see the way you start a lasso experience. Trace us. 
I just can't hold it forever. That is, Roman, we're up. Driver, move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. I'm on the lease, it's all warmed up right next door. Roman, grab your truck.
if you haven't already downloaded that app, be sure to download that free Universal Studios Hollywood app to find out the ride wait times for Mario Kart, the show times for Waterworld, as well as our closing time tonight at 7 p.m. And on behalf of your amazing driver, John, myself, Christine, everyone here on Universal Studios Hollywood, we hope that you really enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes Hollywood experience. You guys are amazing, my friends. And if you saw any of the TV shows or the movies on the tour today that you wanted to purchase, just go ahead and stop by our website at uphe.com or you can ask for more information at any one of our retail stores. And thanks for spending part of what turned out to be a beautiful day today. And wherever you are headed, back to the theme park, maybe on another tram tour. Don't you dare be headed home. Lots more fun to be had. We don't close till 7 o'clock tonight. Now just stay soon and stay safe until John pulls all the way forward and brings this tram to a complete stop. Stay seated while our amazing studio tour and Ambassadors, open up those gates. Don't forget your valuables. And thank you for putting those 3D glasses in the big bins provided on your way out. Hope you have a great rest of the day, friends. Appreciate you. Love you guys. Bye bye. Good job, baby. Welcome back. guys hope you enjoyed the studio tour i was really hoping we would get that uh red car but we got the electric one at least it wasn't that loud anyways make sure to watch this live in 1080p resolution i hope you guys are enjoying so far let's take a look here at the time so we can see where we're gonna go to next there's a water world show at four and um Cool, cool. We're here at Universal Studios Hollywood. All right, next up, it's already three, wow. Time is going by so fast here. 318 here at Universal Studios Hollywood, so. Crystal Angel, welcome in. Thank you, Tinker, welcome for being in here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, head up here now. We're gonna go back up to the to the uh, to the park now. Let's go see what's going on upstairs.
What's up, Matthews? Welcome into the stream. So pretty much, we uh, got here to Universal. Uh, the beginning part of the stream is kind of kind of boring because I forgot my annual pass inside my wallet inside the car. So we had to go get that. So I just kind of stalled there at the entrance. So yeah, don't even worry about the stream at the beginning of this live because it was really really boring. And uh, and then uh, as soon as we got in here. <laughs> as soon as we got in here, that's where things really started to get uh, really cool. So we walked inside, made our way here back uh, over to the studio tour. That's the first thing I showed you guys. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what took up the majority of this slide here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, I think we're going to try to do something else here. I don't know if we have enough time because uh, the studio, the, sorry, the studio tour, the uh, water world is happening at four. I really want to show you guys that. So. I'll show you a really good character right here. Remember when we first walked in? That's where we went into the studio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
back and Google it, you know. Uh, sorry, TMI, I'm sorry about that. I just can't help it. Yeah. 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 Alright guys, we're walking over to the Water World Show. So, you can see here is the line to see the show. So now we just wait guys, now we just wait right here until 4, so it's going to be 30 minutes. Thirty minutes of waiting. For those of you just joining us, just a friendly reminder that we do not have a single file line. So if you have any space in front of you to the right or to the left, go ahead and move all the way forward for like any non available space as this is not a single file line. If the party in front of you does not want to move, feel free to move around them and fill that space. This is your opportunity to move your party closer to the front of your queue. Thank you and enjoy the show.
Get this good spot, guys. We're getting, we have to. We have to. It's gonna get a little crazy right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
upstairs and hide. This show contains many water, so no storm shots are there. Go to convenience to bring back to the that day to that season. We're going to make you all of these water. And if you're ready to handle the video, We need everyone to please slide towards the center of the arena to create more space along the aisleways. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the show.
Joey, is that you? Well, then do something. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this performance of Waterworld. This show contains many pyrotechnic effects. For your safety and the safety of the performers, we ask your cooperation in remaining seated during the entire performance, keeping all aisleways clear. Thank you, and enjoy the show.
the future. The polar ice caps have melted, and the continents are deep beneath the waves. The survivors live on these floating fortresses known as atolls in this place called Waterworld. Brave explorers voyage in search of the legend of dry land, the last remaining on the planet. But the deacon, maniacal leader of a group of evil raiders called Smokers, is determined to find dry land first. He's ensured that no explorer has ever returned until now. Mac, what do you got? It's a woman! It looks like... It's Helen! Return signal!
Tiger Woods. That would have gone a whole lot further to me, this kid distracted me. No, it's okay. We might actually need these people. Bag this. Brothers and sisters! Hear that, Deacon? We're not your brothers and sisters. Am I right?
dry land, you gill neck mutated freak! That's all you are is a freak! I need a weapon! Give me a weapon, will ya? What are you doing? Hey, boss! How about this? Hey, look at me! Boss! Thank you. Come on. Come on, fish boy, let's go. Me and you, man against the fish. Down my cheek. Get up. Come on. Somebody signal my seaplane! Somebody! How do you like that? I think all of my men are dead. Great! Yeah. Such so your boyfriend. Find that ladder. I've got a brand new vision! Tell women from two to try land. That'll be me and you, Helen. Just think of it, the two of us savoring the sweet flavor of dry land.
controls the four points of the compass on the endless seas of war. Give this live stream a like. I will see all of you guys very, very soon. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out uh, one of my other streams here. Turn on notifications.